disclaimer that it's not my music i do not own it i mean no copyright infringement that's for the that's for big brother um anyway it's me i'm back and um uh once again this is not fur um i was going to answer some questions that um People ask me what I like to, oh, and I actually do have some hits, so thank you. I have to, actually had some emails, so thank you. Um, what do I like to look at on YouTube? I like to look at a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I like to look at that stuff, like behind the scene of movie sets, um, behind the scenes of, I actually saw uh, behind the scenes of a, um, what goes on behind um porn movies how they're shot the conditions of uh, the people who work there and i've also heard of the um i also you know heard the testimony of some uh women who have and men who have gotten out of the porn industry and i think if you ever see any of that stuff um you will you know you will change your mind about it you know, trust me, you when you hear the, the conditions people work under and, and some of the things that happen to them and, and some of the things that happen to them, the reason why they're in porn is uh, very sad. You won't look at it and not like I'm such a good, good two shoes, Michael, that I've never seen pornography ever in my life. But trust me, you know, it's not, you know, it's not, not anything that I'm, um, especially after seeing some of those things. Um, also, I like to look at the beauty stuff. I like to look at the how-to stuff. I like to look at the cooking stuff. I like to look at, um, I don't watch television shows. Like, you know, some people go on and watch every episode of whatever. But um, during my time of watching YouTube, I actually have um, found some television shows that I really do like. Um, and I have gotten the, uh, you know, DVDs of them or CDs of music and different stuff like that. That's what I like to do. I like to go on and just experiment and see what's going on uh, with, uh, with um, you know, what's going on. I, and I like to watch real people stuff. I like to look at, um, um, his name is um, Malibu Dollface. He's a cosmetologist. He's a, a image expert. I like to watch him. Um, and I, and he has like an, uh androgynous kind of a, a look you know to him and i kind of i kind of like that and he he's very knowledgeable he um knows a lot i like to to look at that kind of thing i like to look at um um stuff about people changing their lives uh, i like to you know watch stuff like, and i like animals <laughs> i like those you know those copulations of the animals do crazy stuff i love animals and little kids stuff i like that kind of stuff um i also i was talking about before my favorite role um to play what my dream role the role i would love to play would be martha in um who's afraid of virginia Woolf that would be my dream dream totally dream role and i think somebody should do it with um our all black cast cast i think that would be like just out of control but call me to play martha okay and i'll actually wear a wig <laughs> to, play, to play martha you know uh long as I, long as it's got some gray in it because um i earned every one of them um also, like I said, my favorite actor, one of my favorite actors is um, Kenneth Branagh. Um, and I like uh, women, w women actresses. I, I like Whoopi, Gold Whoopi Goldberg a lot because she's so versatile. You know, she is um, very versatile and she can be funny and then she can do serious things too. I like, um, I also like, um, I like Chris Tucker because I think he's, um, you know, to be funny being, cause I I've been in, um, comedy and it's very, very hard to be funny. It, it's much harder to be funny than it is to, you know, and plus you, um, you rehearse it so many times and it has so much to do if the audience is hot or cold, you know, how well a, uh, how well a, um, comedy routine goes over. 
if it goes over or if it goes over or not. Um, I like Chris Tucker. Also, I like I like how he looks because I like that color in black guys. That's my favorite color. Um, that dark, like really chocolatey, smooth, pretty like skin that he and like Eddie Murphy have. That's beautiful to me. Um, speaking of guys, I am single. Um, and I, I do have a son, uh, one son. I've never been married at all because... Um, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't know, you know, I don't really know. Um, I just, well, I think because when I was younger, I didn't want to get married because, um, marriage is a one shot thing, one shot, you know, how I, and I don't, I don't understand how people can have, um, meet the person they want to spend the rest of their life with three times, four times. I don't think so. And I never met anybody that was worth me giving up my freedom. Or, um, well, basically, yeah, my freedom. Um, so I don't, um, and kind of right now, I, I've kind of, I'm kind of um, maybe looking, there's a couple of people I'm kind of interested in, but, you know, I, like I said, I'm going through transition right now. Um, I'm going to get a new job. I'm going to move, like all this stuff is going on in my life right now. And that's a bad time to date. That's a, and, and I and I hate the timing of it because um, it's it's a bad time to date because you'll uh, attribute um, um, things to a person, characteristics to a person that they don't have because you come from a place of um, scarcity. And when, especially when you're in turmoil, when everything is, you know, up in the air and you don't know what's going on, you may tend to cling to a person that you know, and I mean, I don't mean to give, you know, marriage advice and, you know, relationship advice, but, um, people always say, oh, you're no maid. So how can you give marriage advice? Uh, duh. Would you go to a 400 pound, um, nutritionist? Would you go to a lung specialist specialist that was, um, blowing cigarette smoke in your face? You know? So if you know how to be single, you know how to be in a relationship. And I've watched everybody get married and watched everybody get divorced. And from what I've seen, actually, the uh, problem is they don't treat each other like they did when they were dating. And um, I think women are afraid to let um, men be the head of the household because they're afraid of appearing weak. I think that's just my uh, opinion. And I, and I, um, think that, um, that's not, you know, I mean, women, because I guess women figure my, my women friends from what I've, I've heard them say, of course, like I said, I don't know, is that, you know, they would love to, you know, not be, you know, always having to do everything and take the kids there and do the housework and do everything and do this and do that. But it's easier for them to just do it. And then they have resentment um you know towards the man the man doesn't understand that you know they don't they don't understand that and then that's why the that um 80 percent of breakups 70 percent of um divorces are initiated by women because i think they just um keep their resents resentments in keep their frustrations in and you know until boom and you know it's all over and then men are always shocked because they thought everything was all right but that's my little ramp rant on that and I, I don't know what I'm talking about that's why I'm sitting here by myself but with a cat <laughs> but that's just my opinion this is what you know I've I've noticed you know you know that's all I you know that's what I used to say to my son all the time um you know you don't have to respect me as your mother you don't have to respect me as um anything except a person who has lived 26 years longer than you have. And he has always um, given me um, my due respect, always. Um, also, yeah, I talked about the acting work. Um, oh, about the subculture on YouTube about um, wigs and weaves and makeup. I It's just, just fascinating to me. I didn't know that, I mean, it's actual words for how you put the weave in. There's actually terminology for that kind of thing. And, um, 
they give dimensions on these wigs. I just think it's crazy. You know, I'm just that kind of person that I just, you know, I just, I just get, well, what actually happens is I'll get on a, on a subject, I'll get on a certain, you know, uh, program or, you know, subject or whatever on YouTube. And, um, I watch like that all the time. Like I'll just marathon watch, you know, wigs being put on and makeup putting on and you know and I'll just watch a whole lot of um, that stuff and another show that I like to look at is um Strain Hunter um I think it's very interesting I think it's very interesting about um how um cannabis has grown around the world how um actual cultures actually um depend upon it for the economy and I think, um, I found that very interesting. I find that very interesting. Um, also I like to look at, um, I don't know. Okay, I wrote one time. I don't know what that means. Okay. Favorite actors. I talk about that. Oh, and work, what kind of work I want to do. I have, um, uh, like I said, my degree, my, um, master's is in public administration i would like to work at a shelter i don't want to write grants it's too stressful and um it's just too it's too stressful you you just really can't do it and foundations money is really really tight now as far as foundations and stuff it's concerned it's hard to do that um i enjoyed working at the shelter a woman's shelter i worked at one time but it was very stressful um it was it was very very stressful but the rewards were so i mean one if you see one person get off the street one person you know one woman keep her kids because you know she was in a program that you were a part of is um satisfying beyond any money um i also worked for um ds dshs is what we call it out here which is the um um social services. Um, I live in Washington state. Um, I worked in a couple of welfare offices. I liked it and didn't like it. I, I, it's real people, you know, and, and when you look at, um, people having a hard time, they're under stress, you're under stress because it's just so many people and you just can't help everybody. And, you know, it's a lot of red tape. And I think the straw that broke the camel's back was um, talking to a woman who had um, given her kids popcorn for dinner the night before because she didn't get her food stamps because she forgot to send a bank statement, you know, that had two dollars on it. So therefore her, you know, she hadn't got her food stamps and I think it pretty much was the last straw. I was pretty glad to get the heck up out of there. You know, that, that was, and I mean, I walked out and I thought, oh my God, I don't have any job anymore because it was a ter um, um, temporary job. And I walked out and I remember feeling like I could fly because I'm like, I'm free. I don't even care. You know, I, I didn't even care, but I got another job right away. Um, I, I would, what I would like to do actually, my dream job would be a, um, if I could afford to adopt like some like twins, a set of twins, maybe, and um, raise them, stay home and raise them. That that would be the idea. I never wanted to work. I had to because you know my son and I. I had to go back to work, but um, I really always wanted to, you know, stay home and be a housekeeper. I don't know why. Um, I would like to do something like that. Maybe at a publishing company. Maybe something like that. Maybe. Um, uh, a library. I enjoyed working in the library when I was in college. I would like to do some theater stuff. I uh, volunteer at the um, Lakewood Playhouse. And um, when you usher, you get to see the play for free. So that's good. And, and, and trust me, going to plays nowadays is uh, serious money. Serious money. It's um, here I'm thinking between uh, 14 and 30 bucks to see a play, you know, in, in our area. Here's according to if you haven't got a discount, um, senior citizen discount or, you know, student discount or something like that, or like I do, um, usher so I can see the play. Um, I think that's probably it. Um, I don't see, yeah, well, I don't, I, I see some more stuff, so I don't want to, um, 
I don't want to um, start because it's at 15, 26, 27, 28, 29 right now. And I don't want to run over. So I think I'll quit, maybe brush up my makeup a little bit, try to get that shine out. And I'll come back and I will talk about the book. And I will talk about um, um, music that I like. Of course, you heard me say about the Mozart. Um, I also like, um, you know, what they call classic rock. I love that. I like any kind of music. Some of that rap music, that the language is 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 awful. And I, you know, and I have uh, some of my um, some of my kids, quote unquote. I call them my kids. I only have one son, but I have a lot of young friends, and I I have a godson. Um, shout out to Lee and, you know, and to, um, Miss Sam. And, um, I also have, um, we have local rappers here, um, Fred Diesel, these kind of people, but I can only, um, listen to rap music really when it's live. When I go to one of their concerts or one of their uh, premieres or something like that, I, I, I really like it. Um, Ms. and, um, Mr. Um, Ange P, um, our local, uh, uh, rappers in the area and they're one of my quote unquote kids and you know I just I like to stay around young people to stay up with the technology and to stay up on what's really you know good in music I, I don't know anything that much about rap um Drake I've heard his name I mean the real ones the real rap um run in in you know run MCD and you know run uh, whatever that is and um those kind of people, Ice T, Ice Cube, you know, Snoop Dogg, those kind of run DMC, that's it. Um, kind of people, um, I know who they are, you know, because they were the pioneers of uh, of uh, the rap um, genre. So I know a lot about them. So I'm gonna go and um, I'll show you my camera when I come back and tell you about some of my um, photography stuff. And then I think the next one will be about the book. And then I think kind of that's it, because it's time to, it's, um, I still got that send your turn your clock back uh syndrome. You know, I'm kind of uh punchy because of that weird hour of sleep. So you know how I did um with um jet lag coming from Japan I almost died. So anyway, um I will let this one go. And when I come back, I'll talk about um photography. I'll show you my camera and then um I'll talk about um what kind of clothes I like, what kind of shoes I like. And then, um, and after that thrill, you may not be able to take anymore. And then I think the next one will um, definitely be about the book. So I'm gonna reach down here and I'll see you guys later.